morning everybody my name is Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today I have another unboxing video for you and this one is a brand new one. Oh, I was really really looking forward to this and I will warn you ahead of time that I did open the box as you may or not be able to see because I couldn't wait to see what was inside of it. This is the very first Doki Doki crate. Now you all know my hate relationship with Japan crate because I their boxes of candy are just not up my alley but they made the Doki Doki crate for $30 a month you can get a box full of cute kawaii things and I want to check it out to see how it was there are a lot of other cute boxes like the Q box and kawaii box and the demo box I think does something with a bunch of cute plushies and everything and I just really wanted to see if I could get a cute box with licensed products from a company that at least I know has a lot of followers. So I picked up the very first Doki Doki Crate. Let's take a look and see what's inside, shall we? <laughs> Let's get our unboxing on. When I got this box, this was the first thing that was in it and it was hopping out of the box basically. It was really hard for the box to be closed because this guy is so big. Now, apparently this is a thing called a real Akuma. I don't know. I don't have a lot of real stuff except for Hello Kitty things, um, but Real Akuma is a bear and um, this is clearly a cat, but if you look on the back, <laughs> you'll see that there's a little zipper on the back. So this Real Akuma bear is wearing a cat suit. Now according to my friend DX Grilly, and I will link her Doki Doki unboxing down below, this is not a real Real Akuma, this is some kind of knockoff. I, I don't, I don't know what the difference is between a real and a knockoff. Um, but I trust her because she has a lot of actual really cool products and she's very awesome. I don't I don't know the difference. I mean, it's got this thing on it so I guess you can hang it from your windshield, but it's really heavy. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. This is probably going to go to my four-year-old niece or maybe the two-year-old niece. Her birthday is coming up on the 23rd. That's going to go to her. I have no use for this because it won't even fit on the wall. I guess it'll sit right there, but you can't see it in the frame anyway, so... Yeah, let's go to somebody else. There were two featured things in this box and the first one was that there's supposed to be a bunch of Totoro stuff in there. So here's a little Totoro plushie that I got and as you can see it has a tag on its ear. This is not a real Totoro product, like not a licensed Totoro Studio Ghibli product because there's a tag on its ear. So this is a fake too, which really sucks. I mean it's got felt to glue the eyes on. Are you ready for a dirty little anime secret that I have? I've never seen My Neighbor Totoro ever. I don't, it's not even one of the ones that I own that I have yet to watch. I don't own it. I've never seen it. I know nothing about it. Just that there's this big furry thing that seems to pop up in a lot of places. So we have this unlicensed Totoro plushie, which is probably also going to go to one of my nieces. And paper, which I crumpled up. It didn't come like this. I just did that. The next thing we have is a DIY kit. And this makes like a little jelly parfait thing. I actually have this DIY kit. I got it in a I got it in a Tokyo treat box, I believe, and I haven't done it yet, so now I have two. This is actually going to go to my giveaway winner. They just don't know it yet, so surprise, I just spoiled something in your package. But yeah, I hate DIY kits, so I don't really care about that. The other thing we were promised in this box is a Pokemon item, and this is a Pokemon dressed as a Charizard necklace. Check this shit out. I'm going to take it out of the packaging in a second. But look at the back of the packaging. I don't know if this is real or if this is a bootleg, but there's nothing on it that says it would be real. So I'm going to assume that this is a bootleg too. However, this is my favorite thing in the box. Not going to lie, I'm going to rock this necklace so hard everywhere. It's just on a regular chain. It's probably going to turn my neck really, really green. And the back is just silver, but um, I love Pokemon. This Pokemon dressed as a Charizard is super fucking cute, and I really want that Build-A-Bear Pokemon that's also dressed like a Charizard and a Charizard hoodie. If anybody would like to get that for me for Christmas, I would not turn you down. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love this, even if it's a bootleg, and I'm about to put it on even though it's going to turn my neck green, so whatever. I want to be very best. No one ever was. Do, 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 do. Catch them is my real test out. That's my ponytail. Now that, now that Pikachu is resting nicely in my cleavage, let's move on. The next thing is a little Al Picasso, Al Picasso, Al Picasso, Al Picasso little coin purse. Mine is like white. It's got purple and it's very tiny. I don't even know what you could possibly fit in here besides like Motrin. That's probably what I would use it for. Keep it in my purse. So it's kind of cute, kind of not really fluffy. 
Um, we don't know if this item is real or not, um, but it's cute. I mean, mine's pink, so that's a win. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this, but uh, we'll find out. Next up, we have a little panda bear eye mask, which looks really cheap. It's called goggles. The goggles can be shading. Cover direct light so you have a warm, cozy environment to rest. It looks like a panda. Mine has Google eyes. Keep pulling my shirt down so I can see the fucking Pikachu. And it's one of those masks that you use when you sleep. Actually, I might be able to use this because I'm always distracted by things. Mainly like my phone or the TV. Actually, oh god. This is really like shitty quality. Like I don't, it's got white fluffy shit that's gonna get everywhere. I'm not even, I got it. I don't even think this is going to fit around my fat head. This really isn't how you wear it. I don't know what I look like. I don't have a viewfinder. Should I go look? Hold on. Alright, because I'm super cool, I guess I'll rock this for the rest of the video. But ideally, you're supposed to pull it over your eyes when you sleep. So maybe I'll wear it. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Next up, we have a Totoro like pencil case makeup bag. It's not sturdy enough to be my... Ooh. It smells... Oh god, it smells like plastic. It's not sturdy enough to be my makeup bag, but at least it's plastic on the inside and not canvas. Again, I don't know if this is a real Totoro product or not. I can't tell the difference, but I guess there's supposed to be a Studio Ghibli mark somewhere on here if this was a real Totoro product. And I don't see one, so I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I will use it as a makeup bag because mine is getting kind of grody. Kind of ratchet. This is the other thing I liked most when I opened the box. It's a Hello Kitty 40th anniversary figure. As you can see by the box, it's a blind box. I already opened mine and put it together. I really like it. It's made from China though, so I don't know how authentic it was. And I was really hoping to get the one with the top hat, but the one that I did get is still super cute. I got Hello Kitty that looks like Audrey Hepburn, which is adorable. I mean, look at her. Come on. Look at her. And actually, this little stand is like a pill box. It's like a pill case. So you can put your pills in there. Multifunctional figures. Actually, I'm going to try and put her up. Where will you fit? By Erin? Well, you can go there for now. You can be like macking on. Erin with the bad dye job. So I really like that Hello Kitty figure. I kind of want the rest of them in the series, but I just have no idea where to get them. Probably should have put this at the beginning. Doki Doki Crate also comes with a manga, much like a Japan Crate. And it's got this cool little pink girl on the cover. It's got a comic in there. It's got a little message and it describes everything that's in here as well as how to do the DIY kit. And what is in the, what is this called? Suteki Crate? I don't know, but it has a fucking Sailor Moon bento box in there and I'm really jealous about whoever got that and a Madoka tumbler. I would, I really want those. So yeah, oh actually I just realized that this girl has some of the items and she's holding them like she's holding that keychain. So that's really cute. Okay, I like pink haired girls. And the final item in the Doki Doki crate is this Totoro 2016 calendar. I don't see a Studio Ghibli mark anywhere on it. So again, not sure if it's a bootleg or not. But, I mean, it's a really nice calendar. It's got Totoro with a little baby calendar on one side. And on the other side, you can, like, write shit on it, I guess. I have no use for this, but uh, it's cute to have. It actually is a 14-month calendar. And let's go to May, because that's my birthday month. Let's see if I get a cute picture. This is what I do with all calendars. If the May picture is not cute, then I don't buy it. Eh, this one's okay. It's got kids in it. It's got that little white guy. So, I mean, I really have no use for this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe it'll go in a giveaway? Probably, actually. I don't know. I did take it out of the plastic. Sorry. If anybody gets this in a giveaway, um, it's never been used. I just took it out of the plastic for this video. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And that was everything in the very first Doki Doki crate. My favorite items were this Pikachu necklace and the Hello Kitty figure, the Hello Kitty blind box. Um, is it worth $30? I don't think so. I mean, especially if most of the products are knockoffs, I mean, why can't we pay for quality as opposed to paying for knockoff? From a company like Japan Crate, I kind of would expect a little bit more, but maybe not because they do get most of their stuff from Asian Food Grocer and I can order my own shit from there and get exactly what I want with no DIY kits. Please don't put any more DIY kits in these. Um, I will give this one more month just to see if next month improves at all. I would really like some Hello Kitty and some Sailor Moon stuff in here. Even if it's bootleg Sailor Moon stuff, I'll still take it. Um, but maybe it's because I don't like Totoro and there's like a bunch of plushies in here that are gonna go to some small children that aren't really for me, you know? I don't really know what to do with this shit, so I don't know. Give it one more month. I'm definitely not as excited about getting the next Doki Doki crate as I am about getting the next loot anime crate, so. Hmm. 
Tell me what you thought of this unboxing or the Doki Doki Crate down in the comments below. Are you going to subscribe? I'll leave the link to all the information you need to get one down in the down bar, but I'm not highly recommending this box. Uh, my relationship with Japan Crate continues to be horrific, so just because I don't like the products that they include. Nothing against the company in general, just product wise. But let me know your thoughts and we'll have a little party down in the comments. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username is AnimePalooza at both places. I'm going to take this thing off my head. And until next time, love your faces.